Hey everybody, I know I've been inactive for quite some time. I have a ton of open projects and I'm finally gonna get the chance to wrap them up. This network upgrade has actually taken a lot longer than I anticipated. I started around August and only now am I getting to the point where everything's working and I can finally show off what I've been doing all this time. This series is actually gonna be broken up into three parts. The first two will be upgrades and then the last will be a complete tour of my entire network. So if you're only interested in the final result, be sure to check that out. So let's jump right into this. All right, so I have this panel in my garage where all the coax and ethernet lines run to. My house is thankfully new enough to have Cat 5e wiring in the walls that are being used for a landline. But as you can see, it's a complete mess in here. None of the wires are labeled and there's a 66 block used for the phone distribution. Now we do actually use cable TV and a home phone, so I will need to retain some of this setup, but I'll reorganize it in a way that's easy to maintain and modify in the future. Our current internet setup is this typical Verizon Fios router connected through coax, and while the wired speeds are not that bad, wireless can be pretty spotty in a few places throughout the house. Not to mention that wired devices are limited to being connected in this room. So I definitely want to utilize the existing wiring infrastructure in this house, along with adding better wireless coverage. I decided on Ubiquiti's Unify system because of the reliability and easy implementation, and went ahead and purchased three APAC Pro access points, the Unify Security Gateway Router, an 8-port switch, and the Unify Cloud Key Controller. Now the hardest part of this process is going to be keeping everything working while installing all of this equipment. Jumping back to the panel, I needed to get rid of this bulky 66 block and figure out a better solution for the coax, so I decided on getting this Leviton patch panel, phone distribution module, and this powered coax splitter. Before ripping anything out, I made a plan on chart paper just to measure out how much space I had to install all the components. Now is the fun part, figuring out where all these wires lead. For this process, I'm going to use a tone and probe to detect which wire is sending the signal. It's just a matter of going to each wall jack, identifying the wire, and labeling it. This next part took several hours, and I definitely would not repeat it. Punching down wires in a tight panel with very little slack is not easy. At this point, I was starting to feel like a rack-mounted solution might have been more practical for an installation of this scale. After a long and tedious process, I finally got it all labeled, punched down, and mounted. Now for the second part. Coax was much simpler. It was just a matter of bundling the wires together and routing it to the new splitter. For some reason, there are two coax runs to each room, one white and one black, so I'll be bundling the unused wires to the side and connecting only the active wires. Finally, after several days of punching down and routing cables, it's time to install the Unify equipment. Mounting the router was a little challenging due to this screw poking out, but after velcroing the router and the switch, I could finally start transitioning our network to the new system. But of course, there are always problems. Because of the way our Fios installation is configured, I need to connect directly to their router, which uses coax. Now it is possible to use your own router with Fios, but it was just a little too involved for me, and at this point, I was burned out and wanted to get everything working. I plugged the access points directly to the wall jacks using a short patch cable, configured the cloud key, and did what everyone told me not to do and connected the Fios router to the Unify router, resulting in a double NAT. Now, I only planned for this to be a temporary fix, but it ended up taking much longer, and during this period I started to realize some limitations to my setup. I eventually ran out of ports on the switch and expanded by strapping another one on, which led to more second thoughts. First of all, I want to eventually mount the access points on the ceiling, but I'd have to drop wires to the panel, which isn't easy, not to mention that it's getting very limited on room. The Florida heat could also be a problem with this closed cabinet in my garage, so something had to change. Yup, I installed a rack. Here's what happened. I knew that I was going to need to run an ethernet cable from the ONT outside if I wanted to eliminate the Fios router. 
So instead of running it to the panel, I ran it to a nearby closet with an air vent. From there, I ran a single cable back to the panel to operate this switch. Now that the Unify router has a direct connection to my ONT, I could finally disconnect the Fios router. Since my network was transitioning more to this closet, I decided that this is where everything needs to go. I went ahead and got a 16-port Unify switch, a keystone patch panel, a small form factor PC for a free NAS file server, and a UPS battery backup that can keep our internet up for about 40 minutes. Now the only thing left to do is tackle the access points. Since this rack is close to the ceiling, it's much easier to route cables, and I finally went ahead and ran CAT6 wires to install the access points. Normally this would be a pretty simple process, but my ceilings are quite high, so I had to bring in the extension ladder to reach. It ended up looking really clean, and I'm glad I put in the extra effort to mount them. And that's pretty much it. I now have a stable, secure network running in this closet. I feel much better about this panel now that it's less crammed, and it's been working well. Now, the next part of the series is going to feature another upgrade to this network, and after that I'll do a complete and comprehensive tour of the entire setup, so stay posted for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon.